Hi, I'm Lisa Weinstein. I'm a real estate broker in Chicago's luxury market. Today on Private Tour, I'm talking about how the playing field and the rules for Chicago real estate have changed in 2012. Basically, you can really throw out all your old ideas about how to buy and sell real estate. For sellers, now more than ever, don't overprice your home. There used to be this old rule that cash is king for buyers, well right now pricing is king for sellers. So what that means is take a look at the comps that sold last month, not even three months ago, and then how people are pricing their homes this week. Condos should get second and even third showings in the first 30 days. If the home seems like it is not attracting enough showings, sit down, review the marketing, the pitch, and the price. The old idea about trying out a high price and seeing what happens doesn't work in this market. Buyers want and expect sellers to be realistic. If they think the house is overpriced, you probably won't get showings, they're definitely not going to write the offer. If your home sits on the market, doesn't get a lot of showings, and then you end up dropping the price, you'll end up getting less than you would have if you'd originally priced it the right way. The home's first exposure on the market to the first set of buyers is always your best bet for the highest possible price. It's supposed to be a buyer's market, right? Well, it's a buyer's market, but guess what? The rules have changed. Everybody is out buying, so you've got lots of competition. People that have sat back and waited for two years for this market to drop are now out buying. This means if you see a property you like a lot, don't hang out on the sidelines. Be ready to write the offer promptly. Hot properties are getting multiple bids right now, and there's really nothing more frustrating than being a buyer or a seller in a multi-bid situation. It's very stressful. So for buyers, don't look up what the property sold for five or more years ago and then do the math. This really has nothing to do with the actual value today. For renters, consider the rent you are paying and also consider buying. With Chicago rents going up every day, it's almost as cheap to buy as it is to rent and it's not the best investment. For sellers, it's important to understand that living in your home for a period of time is a benefit which you've used. So there's a certain depreciation that comes along with that, unless you're going to restore your house to how it looked when you moved in. Also, there's a useful life to appliances. If you are moving up from a smaller home to a bigger home, don't worry so much about taking a hit on the sale of the smaller home. You should more than make that up in savings when you buy a larger home today. In other words, you're going to be ahead of the game.